So guys, listen up to this video. This is very real. And it works. When you ignore narcissistic individuals, right? You give them zero power. And the only way that you give them power is to play into their game. Now the way you think and the way they think is very different. You think very high dimensional. They think very low dimensional. And they have very small minds. They have very small ways of thinking. And they are very, very, very underdeveloped as human beings. And if they can take you into their world, they can make you weak, just like they are. If you don't let them have any power over you, and you just ignore them, you give them zero power. And with that being said, they can still get in their little groups and talk amongst each other and say all these certain things about certain people and with each other to boost each other's fragile egos up because they have nothing real. They have nothing because it's not because they don't look good enough. It's not because they're not talented at anything. They could, they, you know what, some of these individuals, whoever we're speaking of, like, they're just types of people. Like, they might be a little bit good looking, they might be a little bit talented, they might be this, they might be that, they might have certain things that are all right about them. But, where they are lacking at is emotional wealth. They don't have it. They are empty souls. They are empty meat suits. And they are very weak spiritually. They are not connected with themselves at all. They are lost. They really have nothing. And um, like I said, they think very small. They want to talk about a lot of small stuff. And if they can get you into an argument, if they can get you riled up, which they love to do, because they just say certain things and this is what they believe that's going on in their own mind. They're saying things that you don't even like think about. Like, you go about your day, you don't even think about looking good. You don't think about this, you don't think about that. You're just being yourself. Like. These types of people, they're so superficial, they're so this, they're so that, like they just, they think about looks all the time, they think about ways to manipulate because they can't do anything naturally, they're, they're just not themselves. So it's like these are the only small minded things that they can do, they have to do all these things. They have to attack somebody's looks, they have to attack somebody's appearance, they have to attack somebody, and whenever they're making an attack, they might not even be telling the truth. They can say certain things to you. You might look good and they might say you're ugly. Like, <clears throat> the things that they do, guys, it's just, it's unbelievable. The manipulation, the mind games. And they don't care to make other people feel bad. That's what they do the best. That's what they do best. Is to make other people feel bad. And they feel better about themselves. So, the whole point of this video is to convince you guys and to keep you guys motivated enough to not let the narcissist affect you in a negative way. You ignore them. It's the most important thing that you have to do. And this is something I got better with over time. And there's still certain things that happens to this day and there will be more things that happens in life but I'm gonna get to a certain point where it's just it's it's gonna be rare that I, I, I really believe that uh, I will get to a certain point 
where I'm not around any of that nonsense, like, period, like, anymore. Like, it might take a year, it might take a couple of years from now, but it's going to happen. And it's going to be beautiful. And I feel like everybody can make that happen. Like, I don't know what any of your guys' situations are like personally. Like, I talk with quite a bit of you guys on the phone, but, like, for a lot of you, I don't know what some of your guys' situation is like personally, but every single person and I am living proof that you have the power to make your life so good in a way where you never have to be around these individuals anymore. And like I said, I'm barely around them anymore, but there, there's still something that pops up that happens, like, out of nowhere. And I will get myself in a certain environment that none of that will ever happen, like, It'll be rare if it ever happens. I will get to that point, I know for a fact, and all you guys can do. And that's just, it, that's a beautiful life. We don't want to deal with none of that low vibrational stuff. Like it's just, these people are empty, they're evil, they're suckers. They're looking to manipulate, they're looking to con you, they're looking to bring you down, they're looking to make you feel bad, they're, make, they're, they're, they're looking to do anything to bring you down. Because whatever they can bring down makes themselves feel a little bit more up. Because they know deep down inside they're not on your level. They have to make up lies and convince themselves otherwise. Which gives them temporary belief, but then there comes a point in time again where they get a swift kick of reality in the face to get reminded that their own thoughts are completely nuts. And trust me, they do get these. They do get these reality checks. But they're always going to go back to believe in their own lies because they want to, narcissists live in a lie. They want to believe in their own lies. They want to believe in certain things about other people that's not even true. Like there are certain people that literally, at one point in time, they're literally like, this guy's crazy. Like, He's doing hard drugs all the time, this and that and that and this, when I am as clean as it gets, like, my diet, my exercise, my everything is as clean as it gets. Like, look at, look at who I am on social media. Like, do you think a person that looks like me is doing hard drugs all the time, is in the shape I'm in, clear-headed as I am, and these people want to wanna say, I'm crazy, I'm on this, I'm on that. No, I'm high on life. And it's something you don't know how to do because you don't even have the balls to do it. And you're too... <laughs> you're too empty to be able to do that. So... It's just... <laughs> the things that they say, guys. It's completely ridiculous. And like I said, if you don't want to give them any power, which is what I suggest, you don't want to give them power. Give them zero attention. Pay zero attention to anything they have to say anything they have to do, you can literally play along with them if you want to and let them believe what they want to believe. There are certain people that want to believe that I'm doing steroids and there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can say to convince them otherwise. It's in their head. They need to believe it because if they don't believe that, they know I am physically better and more dominant than they are. That hurts them so bad, guys. You have no idea. And I'm using this as an example. And why am I using this as an example? Because this is stuff that is actually happening. This is real stuff that's actually happening. And I'm letting these people know. Like, I literally want to take them and shake them and be like, I will literally go with you right now. We can go and we can get myself checked. I'll take blood work. I'll do whatever, we, whatever you want to do. Whatever test you want to give me. I'll prove to you right now that I am clean. Let's go. And not only can we go right now, we can go any day you want so I can continue to prove you wrong, prove you wrong, prove you wrong and shove it in your face. And when I do that, you're going to feel very small after that, aren't you? Which is what I would love to do with the narcissist, honestly, guys. And you know what? I love to do it because they deserve to feel as small as they really are. They really do. And why do they deserve that? Because they try to make everybody else feel that way. <clears throat> so. And with that being said, to be honest, guys, none of those things are ever going to happen because it's just not going to. 
they wouldn't do it because they know the truth. And when I'm saying these things, it gets in their head even more. I'm only getting in their head more and more and more as I'm saying these things, as I'm willing to prove myself. They're not actually going to go and do it because they know deep down inside they're full of shit. They know they are. They're only going to, they're going to come out and say eventually, okay, I believe you. I believe you. And whenever they say that, you actually got so far in their head it's not even funny because they know you're right and they know they're wrong. They know they're small. They, they know that you're bigger than they are. They know that you are more superior than they are. And they are the ones that started it. I don't go around saying anything to anybody. I don't care about anybody else. None of these low life people. I don't care about any of them. I want them out of my way. Because they have no good intentions for me. These are the people I literally like scums of the earth. Zero. zero. I give them zero. I care about them none. 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 I do not care about them. I look past them because they are dust to me. They are soulless. They are heartless. They are gutless. They are morons. They are everything. It's just disgusting. They are disgusting to me. The things that they do. The things they say. They're just negative. They have nothing good to say about anybody else. Whenever I'm talking to the most mature people in all areas where I go to, the smartest people, that's who I'm talking to. Because they're giving me respect, I'm giving them respect. You talk to these little low lives, you know what I mean? They're disrespecting you constantly 24 7. They're, in, they're, they're low key intimidated of you. They're disrespectful, they're little liars, they're little thieves, they're little gossipers, they're little backstabbers. It's what they are. So ignore them. The effects of it is nothing but a sweet science. It's beautiful. You give them nothing. Nothing. They even say something to you, and like I said, I'm getting better with this myself, guys. Give them no reaction. Laugh at them. I'll even fire back a joke. Like, yeah, you wish. Like, yeah, you wish I was this or this of what you're trying to say. You wish, buddy. You wish. And even then, you know what? Even if I do that, I'm still buying into a little bit. I'm still gassing them up a little bit. So that's not even good. I'm going to get to a point where I don't even nothing. Just nothing. Scums of the earth. Get out of my way. So I can continue on my day and keep doing what I'm doing. Because... At the end of the day, guys, all you got to do is continue to live your life. Because the truth will be exposed. And the truth of who they are will be exposed. They're like the old drunk alcoholics that are going to talk about all the athletes that are on TV. Oh, this person's garbage. They're getting so mad and frustrated watching a television set. Watching other grown men and professional athletes on TV getting all upset about it. Because they're so invested into that. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. That's who they are. That's, that's forever what they're going to be. Yet, that person sees that professional athlete in real life. What do you think he's going to do? Nothing. Or be his best friend. Because that's what they are. They're fake. They're dangerous. You have to be careful of these people. I used to be friends with some of these people. I used to be friends with people that got addicted to alcohol over time and became worse and worse and worse to the point where you had to cut this person off because they were disrespecting you on so many levels and gossiping about you behind your back. You just have to be careful of toxic people in general because they're polluted everywhere. Some of them are snakes. Some of them can come off as, you know what, like they might seem like they mean well a little bit, but they're little snakes in the grass deep down inside. Those are the most dangerous ones. So, <clears throat> it's exhausting to even talk about, but we
we do it. The truth must be exposed to the deepest levels on this channel. And it's exactly what I do. I figure people out, I break it down, and I defeat them. These people must be defeated. These people must be exposed. And most importantly, they must be ignored. Now, I'm going to cut this video off now. I've said enough in this clip. Just don't try to get rattled up. If you're ever in a confrontation with them, if they're ever trying to come up to you and say this or that, just try try not to. Try not to. And easier said than done. If you make them, if you make enough mistakes with it, um, you will learn eventually that the best thing to do is nothing towards them whatsoever. You give them no life. You give them zero life. They have zero lease of life in them. When you don't give them reactions, when you don't give them nothing, you then make them feel like the crazy pieces of trash that they are and deserve to feel like. So. But anyways, guys, I'm going to pop out of here now and uh, get another small bite to eat and I'm, I'm, I'm done for the rest of this evening and I will be back tomorrow with some more banging topics. Until next time, guys. Peace out. <clears throat>